you need to be locking up on your guy. You need, I want to know what he had for lunch. That's what I want to know. That's how I want to talk to you. Today. We got the ball back. We down by three. So we either need a three-pointer or we need a bucket or we need a quick five. Uh, in overtime, you got ready to take that last shot. Um, and you know, the whole game, we're going back and forth with other teams, you know, neck and neck. And I, I was, you know, doing what I do, and I want the ball in my hands. I knew, I knew I, could, I was ready for that big time moment, so I had to get the ball and, and make a big time play. Because no invite to the top 100 camp. <laughs> like he's in nobody's rankings. He got offered this summer, didn't he? He got one offer from Bryant. Yeah. Columbus State, y'all slipping. <laughs> like this kid, I don't see him hit multiple game winners this summer. Yeah, he almost hit one on me. Yeah, like I'm like, here you go. This kid been killing. <laughs> GJ right, he can play. He's got some wiggle to his game. He plays with a chip on his shoulder. He, he plays a lot bigger than five foot seven. Has some nice handles. Can get into the lane, creates, not afraid to challenge shot blockers or go into the chest of a potential uh rim. Division one prospect. First team all state guard DJ Wright tore his ACL. And uh, that pretty much puts a cap on Green Green County's, uh, you know, how, how their season's going to go. Yeah, the club with it, man. Grew up in the club. They got me on the door. Got to count tomorrow. You already know, man. This is what we, I grew up in the club. Grew up hooping, um, camps. Grew up as a kid, and now that's why I work at. You know, I like giving back to the kids, giving back to the community. That's what it's all about. This Pete Nance Boys and Girls Club right here. This is actually a new building. We just got this built probably a year or two ago. Um, I mean, you can see, like, it's, it's nice. It's real nice. We got all type of classroom. This is actually the side for the younger kids. Um, like I said, we got new TVs, computers, video games, everything, man. I mean, the whole club. We can, we actually, we can walk through if you want to come see the whole club. But like I said, we got the pool table. We got every, every, everything in here, everything you can, you can want, kind of. We got the game room, got all type of game. Everything. They done spruce it up a little bit. Actually, I used to, huh? Nice on the game. Believe it or not, I actually don't play the game. Like I, I'm, I'm not a game head. Like I got a PS4, and I had probably ain't touched that in about two years. Like I, I be too locked in. I'm, I'm more focused on the grind. Uh, I'm just always in the gym or chilling with the game, with the friends, family. But I don't really fool with the game like that. I'm like that though. I'm like that though. I. And man, I'm like that. I'm like that. We're going to see what's going on. This is the gym right here. We got them guys hooping. Man, what's up, man? This is my guy right here, man. It's Fred. This is my boy. It's actually my cousin. We got the handshake. Uh, uh. We've been doing that handshake since, like, the eighth grade. Like, Fred, man, he he, he been there along the way. Like, he seen he seen me grow up. Tell him, man. Hey. Hey. <laughs> v, come on, V. This my girl right here. So, this great. my girl right here, man. Hey, I swear, this probably one of my favorites right here, bro. V, tell them, yeah. tell them, what, what grade you in, V? Tell them about I'm in, I'm in ninth grade, going to the 10th grade, yeah. you know? Yeah. 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 Tell them who the, who the, who the, who the uh, big rapper alive. Bro, Lil Baby. Lil Baby. Dominique Jones. Dominique Jones. Yeah. The GOAT. Yeah. That's my girl right there. Yeah. We finna go in here. We gonna, we, right there. We, finna, we finna hoop a little bit, though. I be trying to spare them, but they be talking too much. Man, let's do it. What's going on? It's Denise, right? Most of you know me by DJ, or him, or three. <laughs> I got a lot of nicknames, but um, I'm from Greensboro, Georgia, born and raised. Um, I go to play college basketball at Hampton Sydney College in Virginia, and I'm just a hometown hero.
Stacey McClendon. I am the club director for the Pete Nance Boys and Girls Club. And um, I can just say my relationship with DJ has been a very, very amazing one. Um, I've got the opportunity to see him come full circle at, at, at one point or another. Uh, just going back, like even when he walks through the door right now, when I see him, I think about when he was a, uh, a youth, when he was in the rec department, also when he was here. Um, just loving being at the club. Um, one of our best students, um, spent a lot of time in the gym and just work on his craft, even at a young age. And I remember him um, working out with uh, some of our other people like Mr. Ian and Miss Audrey when we, when we were in the club, different things we were doing in the club, different programs, things like that. And I'm just so proud of him, so proud of him because at one point in time, sometimes when people get successful in different things, they may forget about where they come from. But I know for a fact, Mr. D, Mr. DJ doesn't forget about where he comes from. I like your hair. <laughs> normally a typical day for me. I normally get straight out of work, go straight to the gym. Most of the time that I lift, um, I work out like two, three times a day. So normally I just go to work, get out of work, go to one workout, whether they be lifting, running, or on the court. Leave that workout, go to another workout, or go play pickup, uh, either one. But I get about two workouts in a day. Right now, we about to get in with the GOAT, though. Coach Juke, everybody already know, that work going to show. He my uncle, my mentor, trainer, all that. So, had to, had to make sure, you know, I get in, man, with the GOAT for sure. What's your favorite pair of Kobe's? Uh, well, what's a basketball sneaker in general? In general, I'd probably say Kyrie or KD. One of those. Yeah, those KD 7s was hard. Yeah, we, we, had, we had some KD's for the junior shooting. I actually got them in the wheel. I like all kinds of things. As long as they fuck them. Been at it a long time. Like, I'm talking about years. A lot of people done tried to ride the way, chop the way. We just keep our head down and work. That's how it is. Uh, none of it come overnight, man. A lot of kids be asking me, how you do this, how you do that? It don't come overnight. That's all we do right here, work. Years put into it. That's all it takes, nothing but a little bit of work. And they're right on. Oh, well, they're on the show. They're working on the show. Yeah. I remember. 9 
right here, it's more so just to get your conditioning going the way. That's why I tell you go faster than what you're going. Regardless if you miss or make the shot. That's why. So, it's more so uh, uh, something just to condition yourself. That's why you gotta go hard as hell with the Yes, sir. That's why we're working. It's Coach Juke, man. I wanted to make sure I uh, get a chance to get on the video and talk about DJ. I've been knowing DJ since probably like he was eight or nine years old. When I first started coaching on uh, Rick Basketball, he was one of my first players that I had. So I knew he had that it factor about him at that young age because he was shooting the ball well at eight, nine years old, better than some guys in high school. And eventually I seen him win middle school championships and move up to uh, start in varsity as a freshman. 
And I eventually ended up coaching him his 11th grade year, and that probably was one of the best years I've ever seen DJ shoot the ball. I think we ended up making it to like, what we made it to the Sweet 16, DJ? We made it to the Sweet 16 his 11th grade year. I ended up leaving um, for a little while before he ended up tearing his ACL, and uh, I ended up coming back during that time, and I seen him just work, work his butt off. And, and show people that even though he had that, that the ACL injury that, man, I'm gonna I'm fight this adversity and make it happen. Slight day, really. He would have been kid, but look at my shirt. 
one on down. I'm holding up. We gotta go get that work. Go put all this work. Showcase this. Go get a little hoop session in. I ain't get one of them banners up there. I ain't get the, I ain't put one up there. But you know they got some got some great names up there like Tookie Brown. Man, shout out to Tookie man. I work out with him like every day. Trying to get better, trying to get to where he at. But went to middle school, my eighth grade year, 17 and 0. Got us a championship. Then went on to high school, man, you know, Jersey retired, all state, rank, golfers, everything. But this way it all started, it started out with Pump right there, man. Hey, Duke, been at me, been with me since day one. So I promise you, when we go all the way, when we go pro and we sign that contract, he's gonna be right there with me. For sure.
back at it, man. Back at the club. Now we got my own camp, my first camp with Destiny McClendon, who's also a college basketball player. It's all about the kids, you know, this is what we do it for. Um, so I'm excited. I'm ready to see. We got some hoopers up in here, man. So you see, I mean, I'm I'm I'm, I'm chilling right now. I got a cool little fit, but you know, right, when I lace them up, it's time to get serious. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got it. We, we we got it on the door right here. So let's get it, man. Let's get it. Be see off the court. Off the court, I'll be flashy. You know what I'm saying? I put it on a little bit. Try to dress up. Pop out off the court, but when I'm on the court. All that pretty stuff go out the window, man. So what's like your go-to fit? Uh, I'm a chill guy. I'm a chill guy. I don't really, I don't really wear jeans. I'm more of like a, 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 a set type of guy, like a short matching shirt or, or pants matching shirt. But you know, I put it on. I go designer too. You know what I'm saying? I got the rude on right now. Got the rude. Some slight today. Some slight. But I, I like to be chilling though. I like to be comfortable. I'm more of a comfortable, but got it on type of guy. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, it's my turn. Yeah. yeah. I think we got a good little group though. It should be smooth. What would you think um like would be uh like your impact that you have on the community here? Um uh, one of the biggest things I say is just overall just all my life I just been focused on like putting on for my city. Um it's a small town, small area, um, so kind of just grew up, um, just kind of, you know, just want to put on for the city and just make make everybody proud. Um, so that I feel like that just always kept me going, always kept me motivated. Just looking at it as I'm paving the way for the younger generation. Um, I look at myself as motivation to others, so I'm always making sure you know I'm on my P's and Q's, doing what I need to do in the classroom, off the court, on the court, etc. Man, y'all ain't loud enough, man. We got this gym, we got basketball, we got a whole bunch of talent. Everybody, how everybody doing? Good. There we go, there we go, there we go. For those of you that don't know me, um, Coach DJ, um, Coach Destiny. and um, give you a little background about ourselves. Um, I'm a college basketball player. I played basketball at Hampton Sydney College in Virginia. Um, Destiny. For sure. So, I mean, who want to play basketball at the next level? Who want to go to college one day and play basketball? A couple of y'all. Anybody want to play any type of sports to go to the next level? Okay, good, good, good. Um, it ain't no secret to success or to get where you want to go. It ain't no secret at all. I promise you. It don't happen overnight. It don't happen right away. It might not even happen when you want it to happen. But as long as you do what I like to say, two things, um, I don't know what y'all belief is, but first, trust God, trust the man above. It's all about that work. So today we're going to get in that work and we're going to get it going. We're going to do some dribbling. We're going to do some shooting. We're going to do a little competition. We're going to see who got what, who can, who can play, man. And like I said, first off, I just want to go and let y'all know that I want every single one of y'all to be successful. All right, me and Destiny, we want, we want y'all to go way past and beyond what we ever did. We want y'all to do more. And I see some hoopers in here. I see some football players, some baseball players, everything. But whatever you put your mind to, I promise you, you can do. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do something. Whatever you got in your mind that you want to do, you can do it, all right? So we finna get in this work, right? Right? Yeah. All right, before we get into work though, what we got to do? We, we just gonna go out here and just go get the ball and just go start playing. We gotta scratch, right? All right, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. And we got, we gonna go high knees, all right? We're gonna go high knees. So high knees, we're gonna get your knees up as high as you can. We're gonna go high knees all the way to half court, all right? Half court, everybody ready? All right, let's get it. Yeah, scratch them legs, ain't no rushing. We good, we getting warmed up, we getting warmed up. Good, 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 going back, going back. Got the same thing, high knees. Yup, yup, y'all ready? All right, let's go. Yeah. Warm them legs up. That's it. That's it. There we go. There we go. Going back. Going back. Same thing. Same thing. Going back. Yes, sir. Let's get it. We working today. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's it. 
All right, going back, we got what you call sweeps, all right? We got what you call sweeps, so you're gonna put your leg out and you're just gonna sweep down, just like that. Leg out, sweep down, all right? You should feel that stretch down here in your hamstrings and everything. Get those legs warm and loose, all right? Let's get it, go. Sweep, yeah. <laughs> well, we finna have a good day today. We finna have a good day today. We finna see who got it, who, where them ball is at. Everybody think they straight? All right, bet. Half court, who the fastest, who the fast? Oh, oh. Behind the line, behind the line, behind the line. On go, all right? On go. Ready? Set, go! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Okay, okay. Joe might be the fastest. Okay, okay. We're going back. All right. Cool. 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 That's a bet. You ready to get started? Y'all ready to get in there at work? Everybody think they loose? They warmed up? Everybody good? You lose, L? You lose? Let's get it. We finna get that work in now. We finna get that work in now. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, you missed me. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 let's get it, let's get it. So describe, um, like I know, you know, a lot of people, you know, talked about like your injury and stuff. Mm -hmm. So when when that happened, like describe like what went through your mind initially. Um, I mean, the first thing that went through my mind uh, when, when it happened, the first thing I could just think of was just like, all right, trying to think as positive as I can. I was just like, okay, cool. like. It's, it's just a sprain or something, or maybe I pulled something, you know, but once I kind of noticed my knee to swell up and I couldn't put any pressure on it, and it was like that majority of that whole weekend, I, and that Monday came, I did it on a Saturday. That Monday came, I was kind of, you know, nervous, because I was like, man, I know, you know, I, I was supposed to be, you know, getting kind of better, but it wasn't looking too good. Um, so when I initially got the news, I was heartbroken. Um, the first thought that went through my head was, man, it's all over, you know, and like, I only thing I could think of was why me? You know, at that time I had multiple Division One offers, I had multiple schools recruiting me. I was ranked fourth point guard in the state of Georgia, you know, and at that moment I was just saying, why? Like, at my, I felt like I was at the peak of my career. Um, everything that I wanted, you know, seemed to unfold and it was right in front of me. So the first thought that came to my head was just, why me? You know, I was heartbroken, I was devastated. And, you know, that was just, you know, it felt like it was a, a, a tragic situation. Right hand, right hand pound, all right hand, okay? You got it? And we're going to do it for 10 seconds, all right? And then the next person going to go, and then we're going to do it like that, all right? First two up, y'all ready? All right, let's get it, pound. Right hand, right hand, good. Good, there you go, with that right. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, one. Good, good. Now use that left hand. You got it. Yeah. Bounce that ball. It's going to come right back to you, I promise. There you go. Good job. Way to keep that head up. You good. I got you. I got you. Oh, five, four. That's it. Three, two, one. Good, good. That's it. That's it. Good job. Good job. Little man, you ready? Walk and cross. There we go. Control that ball. Control that ball. That's it. That's it. Going back. Good. Good, control that ball. Let's group up. Let's get it, go. Yeah, ball is a part of you. The basketball is like a part of you. The basketball is like your arm. It's a, part, it's a part of your legs, everything. Feel that ball out, there you go. Wrap, there you go, good. Wrap it around your body. You're gonna wanna shuffle your feet, and as your man is going, you're gonna pass. All the way to half court. All the way to half court, just like that. All right, then going back. Chest pass, chest pass, chest pass. There we go, you got it? And snap that ball, that's it. That's what I'm talking about. Good, y'all too, good. Good, now we working. Into the layup, let's get it. Yup, yup. Bounce that ball, snap it. Good, snap it. I need them layup, they free. They free, we gotta make those, they easy. Let's go, little man. Get you assist, get you assist. Dime, good, finish. Use that backboard, use that backboard. Take your time, good, good shot, man, good shot. Go. Good, good, finish, good. There we go. Here we go. Bounce pass. Good. Good pass. That's a dime. That's a dime. We back at the top. We back at the top. You gonna be right here quick, Chris. This is what I want. The first person in the line, when I say go, you're gonna smack the ground and you're gonna, you're gonna slide. Slide your feet. Slide your feet. Slide your feet. You're gonna come right here. You're gonna touch. You're gonna come back. Slide. 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 Alright? Go. There we go. Let's go. Slide. Slide. 
Come back, come back, come back, come back, little buddy. Come back, come back, come back. Going to the, if we go into the elbow, you want to make sure you send them to the elbow, all right? So you want to open up that way. So your first thing for you want to be in this stance, all right? So come right here and get in this stance. There you go. Line up that base. There you go. Now once he get to the elbow, you want to beat him there. You want to beat him there and cut him off. Good. Beat him there. Turn him. Good. There you go. Hey, that's good work. Hey, that's good work. That's, that's good work. All right, when we playing D, we got to make sure we beat our man to the spot, all right? One thing I'm gonna tell you, offense wins games and defense wins championships, all right? Can everybody say that with me? Offense wins games and defense wins championships. Offense wins what? Game. Defense wins what? Championship. Offense wins what? Game. Defense wins what? Championship. We want championships, right? Everybody wanna go get a ring to put on their put on their finger, we wanna get a banner, we wanna do all that type of stuff, right? But the first thing first, you gotta be able to lock somebody up. We gotta be able to play defense, all right? But next we got we tired, we done been moving. Now we got free throws, all right? We're gonna go one at a time. Everybody else gonna line up on the outside right here. We get that ball, Corian. Two claps on the mate, one clap on the miss. Good shot, Chris. Uh, good, good. Up next, you. This is sometimes in life, it's the small things. And I really think he, he gets it right here in his heart. He plays with his heart the way he does when he's out in the club, out of the club. He's always being very cognizant of how he can help others. And that means a lot to me as a club director. And back then I was a gym instructor. So just seeing him grow and like help others and give back uh, means a lot to me. Because I played um, basketball with his father in high school. We played on the same basketball team. And to see him come up like that, uh, also my daughter, he, he, he and my daughter played on the same rec team and also here at the um, club. So just seeing both of those guys come up and you know, get uh, college scholarships, it's so rewarding to see him get to this point. This is back door. I'm an energy guy, all right? I like to, I like to be pumped, I like to be hollering, I like to be, man, let's go, let's hoop, all right? So what we got now, I need everybody, I need our energy to go up, all right? Chop it, there we go, there we go. Chop them feet, chop them feet. All right, this way, yeah, slide, slide, yeah, this way, slide, slide, there we go, little man, there we go, little man, hit! Hey, there we go, hit! Hey, there we go, chop, 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 there we go. Good, good, right, yeah, left! Good, hit, good, hit, good. Here we go, chop, 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 chop. Yeah. Right this way, yeah. Come on, come on, come on, hit. Hey, there we go, hit. Hey, there we go, hit. Hey, there we go, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up, good, good. Got that blood pumping, everybody good? Everybody good, you tired? Tired? We got them going in, we was moving. I needed I that. Tired. You ain't tired, I like that. I like that, you don't get tired. Here we go, on defense, kick, shot. Uh, good shot, good shot, Jackson, good shot, Jackson. That's what I'm talking about. We got, we're gonna act like we got a ball in our hands, right? We're gonna add the ball, so we're gonna shot fake. All right, you're gonna pump fake. Pump fake, then you're gonna turn, pivot. You're gonna stay on your, and you're just gonna turn with the right foot, all right? There we go, just like that, Callie, just like that. So we're gonna shot fake, turn. Left foot stay, we're gonna stay just like this. Everybody gonna go this way, right? Shot fake, turn. And, but uh, all right, here we go. We're gonna go shot fake, and everybody else is gonna open up, and we're gonna turn this way, right? Now our right foot is gonna, gonna stay the same. We're gonna move our left foot, right? So everybody got that, that's all we're gonna do. We're gonna go that, we're gonna go shot fake, turn. Good, turn. There we go. Listen to your keys, listen to your keys. Back to the top, triple threat, good. Shot fake, good, turn. 
Perfect. Now we go. There we go. Back to the top. I need everybody to be on one accord. One accord. Here we go. We almost there. I need everybody's feet to touch at the same time. Triple threat. Shot fake. Turn. That's it. That's it. That's it. Good. Good. Give me three more good ones. Three more good ones. Triple threat. Shot fake. Turn. Good. Back to the top. Triple threat. Shot fake. Turn. That's it. One more. One more good one. One more good one. That's good work. Everybody clap it up. 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 That's good work. Hello, my name is Danny Wright. And I'm Chandra Wright, DJ Wright's mom and dad. Describe his basketball journey to, to, to the people. Just describe his basketball journey. Well, I realized DJ was a, a potential ball player at an early age uh, because he played around the house each and every day, knocking over things, but he kept a ball in his hand. And I myself was a basketball player, baseball player, and therefore I took up a lot of time with him to to cultivate his talent, so to speak. I was his uh, uh, basketball coach uh, early at, down at the rec center, and as he grew and began to develop, I backed off and allowed other people to coach him along the way, but I was still there on the sideline. And he recognized his talent early. And uh, I think it was about the seventh grade, sixth or seventh grade, he told us he was gonna play um, at the Universal Studios down in Florida when we was on vacation. And lo and behold, he made that happen. And from then on, he just been an outstanding uh, young man playing ball in the classroom all over. So we as parents just gave him the support that he desired and needed and led him accordingly. And it's just been history ever since. He actually started very early when his sister was playing. DJ had a sister that played for Emmanuel College, and she first started off just like DJ, playing at an early age, and then she got into AAU basketball. And on every break that the team got, he was out there at the two and three years <laughs> old, bouncing, trying to bounce a basketball. And I think following her footsteps, he just that just motivated him even more. And then, like his dad said, he took a lot of time. I used to get so mad with him because he was so hard on my baby, and I used to get so <laughs> upset with him. Yeah. But it all has paid off because it really made him be um, the young man, along with the other coaches. Oh, it's numerous people who have have um, just poured into him. Yeah. Um, we thank God for each and every one of them Amen. poured into him in some kind of way. He was just people just gravitate to him, yeah. and so we just allowed that to happen. We just we we took him and put him where he needed to be, and you know we told him as long as you books and ball, that's all. As long as you keep grade, <laughs> you make the grade, we will make your dreams come true. Good pivot. Good. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Last one. Last one. Here we go. Catch. Triple threat. Shot fake. Pivot. Good. Pivot. Good. Pivot. Good. Pivot. Good. There we go. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Pivot. Pivot. Whoa. Pivot. Good. Good job, Xavier. Give me some. Good job. Good job. Everybody good? That's good work. That's good work. Anybody need some water? Need some water? Gatorade? All right, let's get a break. Let's get a break. Let's get a break. Let's get a break. We got some Gatorade right here. Who need the Gatorade? What we got, right? We're going to be on this side, and we're going to be on this side. So what we're going to do, we got what you call closeouts, right? We got closeouts. So when Destiny says go, I'm going to start off in a defensive position. She's going to say go. Go. I'm going to run up, right? I'm going to choppy feet, chop, chop, chop. My hands are going to fly up. I'm going to get down in defensive position. And then I'm going to say, ball, 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 ball. I'm going to mirror the basketball. Wherever Destiny goes, I'm going to go and play defense. Ball, 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 All right? Just like that. All right? When she say you're good, you're going to mirror the ball. You're going to mirror the ball, and then you're going to backpedal. Backpedal, all right? To the back of the line, all right? So going fast, it's going to look like this. Once you say you're good, you're going to backpedal back. Here we go. 
Bo, 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 bo. La, I need heat. There you go. I need heat. Go, go, go. Bo, 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 bo. Go. Come on, Chris. Come on, Chris. Chop me. Go on heat. On heat. On heat. On heat. There we go. On heat. On heat. On heat. Oh, damn. He gone. He dead. Shot bait. Good. Triple threat. Shot bait. Triple threat. Bounce pass. Good. Good. Perfect. Triple threat. Step through. Good. Step through. Triple threat. Shot fake. Step through. Perfect. Triple threat. Good. Shot fake. Triple threat. Really cut like that. That was what we finna see right now. You cut like that? You think you cut like that? Or you know you cut like that? You know. Okay, I like that. I like that. What we got? You better make it, cause Joe behind you. Okay, money. Okay, okay. Get him, Dilma. Go out, Dilma. Hurry up, Dilma. You better make it. Good, good. You better get it. You better get it. Call you better get it. You better get it. We gotta get this right. We gotta get a competitor. I need some people to get out. I want somebody to get out. Uh oh. 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 You out, you out, you out, go to the side. Oh, uh, money. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, we making them now. Get it, get it, pass it, pass it. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Good money. Uh oh, uh oh. Get him, Chris. Get him, Chris. Get him, Chris. Get him, Chris. And one. You out, TJ. Come on, keep it going, keep it going. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, devil, uh oh, devil, uh oh, devil. Okay, 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 okay. Uh oh, uh oh, I think he got you. Okay, oh my God. Oh, Chris, you're done. You're done, Chris. You're done, Chris. Okay, you're done. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh-oh, get him, Corian. Uh-oh, get him, Corian. Oh, Jackson, bye-bye. I'm going to holler at you, Jackson. I'm going to holler at you. Jackson, you out. Corian got you. Money. Uh-oh. 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 Don't miss, Joe. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Bye-bye, Denver. Okay. Okay, bye bye, Denver. Well, we go. Who go? Who gonna be the last man standing? Bye bye. Come on, Chris. Give him 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 Chris. Ah, he got you, Chris. You good? You good? You almost had him. Uh oh. Uh oh. Some people get tired. Some people get tired. They get tired. They get tired. Uh oh. They get tired. Oh, Joe, I'm gonna holler at you. I'm gonna holler at you, Joe. Uh oh. Come on, man. Who the last man standing? Uh oh, Joe. Uh oh, Joe. Uh oh, Joe. Uh oh, Joe. Bye bye, Joe. I'm gonna holler at you. I'm gonna holler at you. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, Chris. Okay, we good. You still good. All right, we're gonna take on. If he missed this and you make it, that's ball game. But you better, hey, look. I ain't gonna say nothing. I ain't gonna say nothing. Y'all got it. Uh oh, bye bye, Chris. I'm gonna holler at you, Chris. I just told you what was going on. Koyan said y'all ain't do nothing with him. That's what I'm talking about, man. Oh, I'm behind you. Yeah. Yeah, oh, you what, what you doing? You scared? You scared? I'm gonna holler at you, though. I'm gonna holler at you. Oh, I'm tripping. Oh, I'm tripping. And why? Come on, Chris. I'm gonna holler at you. I'm competitive, bro. I don't like to lose. I don't like to lose. I'm behind you now. You better make it. You better make it. 
Oh oh. Money. Bye bye, Joe. Here we go. Money. Good. Oh, don't miss. Oh, don't miss. Oh, don't miss. Oh, I'm. Mm. That's a free throw, three. Yeah, I ain't losing. I ain't losing. I ain't losing. Get him, get him, get him. Get him, lay up. Oh, don't miss. You better not miss. Backward. I missed it too. <laughs> oh my God, I just smoked him. <laughs> oh, wait, bro. Come on, bro. He trying to, hey, I just missed the layup though. I'm going to holler at you. Oh, I'm going to holler at you. Oh, you bye bye. Oh my God. I'm smoky though. Hey, you out. You out, TJ? You behind me? I ain't gonna miss that one. Oh, oh yeah, get him, Devin, get him, Devin. Bye bye. Ooh. Come on, get him out, get him out. Get him out. Now to the nitty gritty right here. Down to the nitty gritty right here. Get him, Diver. Bye-bye. Yeah! Oh my God, she smoked it. Bye-bye, Diver. Bye-bye, Diver! We down to the last three? This is money time right here. It's the money time right here. Oh, that's off, yo. No way. I just lost, bruh. No way. I just knew I knew I had lost too. It's all good. It's all good. I'm getting that. I'm getting the king of the court. <laughs> get him, get him. Ball game. Uh-oh. 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 Here we go. Here we go. Uh-oh. Here we go. You better not miss. Oh, he smoked it. Ball game. Oh, he smoked it. Lay, lay. Corian again. Oh. Oh no! Ball game. There's no way Corey won again, bro. Bro, you're not like that, bro. You're not like that. You think you like that? King of the court. Let's get it. King of the court. King of the court. Get one. Got three dribbles. Three dribbles. Money. Ugh. Okay. Okay. We got one. Hey. And one. Where you at? What you got? Two. All right. Okay. Oh! Hey! Chris got two! Ball game! Ball game! Ball game! Ball game! I need a stop! Get a stop, TJ! Hey! Hey! Hey, yeah, you got a little, you got a little contact then. Run it back, run it. Get a book! Get a book! Money! Are you settled? You got two! You score that game! You score that game! Yeah! Yeah! Okay then! And why? That's a foul! You foul! You foul! You foul! You foul! You foul! Chris! Ball game! Yeah! Chris! Hey, look! Ball! 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 Hey! You get that ball, L. Thank you. Ball, 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 ball. Three, two, one. Good job. Hey, ho, 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 ho. I want to do something, all right? So we're going to do something called give me two claps and a red flare, all right? So when I say give me two claps and a red flare, you're going to go, woo, all right, as loud as you can. Just like that. I right, we're going to do a practice run first. Give me two claps and a red flare. Ooh, that's it, that's it. Hold on, hold on. Tell me that though, tell me that though. Give me two claps and a reflow. Woo! One more time, one more time. We gotta get loud, we gotta get loud. Give me two claps and a reflow. Woo! They ain't loud enough, they ain't loud enough, they ain't loud enough. Give me two claps and a reflow. Yeah! One more, one more, one more, one more, one more. Give me two claps and a reflow.
2000 Rip Flow. Woo! That's it. That's it. That's it. Man, listen. Listen. I want to just first off, I want to say that I'm proud of each and every one of you. All right? I want to first off and just say I first appreciate you all for coming out and getting better today. All right? Because you guys, y'all chose to come in the gym and work and say, I want to be better today at basketball. All right? Y'all chose and said, I want to be better at basketball. There's tons of kids y'all age that's sitting in the house in the air conditioning right now, playing the game, watching TV, eating some Cheetos, all right? You know what I'm saying? But y'all came in, y'all said, hey, they got a basketball camp. Y'all went y'all parents and said, hey, I want to go to this basketball camp. I want to be better. So first off, give y'all selves a round of applause for coming to get better today, all right? Good job, good job, good job. Second of all, second of all, what I need each and every one of y'all to do when y'all leave here, right? I want y'all to go to y'all parents, a guardian, whether that be mom, dad, auntie, uncle, sister, and brother, and go tell them thank you. Say thank you for allowing me to go to the basketball camp today, all right? So first, give it, I mean, second, give a round of applause to your parents for allowing you to come, right? All right? Like I said, listen, you guys came and put in some work today. We learned a lot, right? We learned a lot. Can somebody tell me one thing what we learned today? What you learned, Callie? Good! I love that. Callie said when we started gardening, she said she learned the what she was doing. Can anybody else tell me something they learned today? What you learned, Mir? The thing that I learned was great and I know that I can learn even more. I like that. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Coming in and getting better, all right? Like I said, I'm going I'm to I'm get a full of this, but I just want to tell each and every one of y'all that I'm proud of y'all, all right? Whatever y'all put y'all mind to, whatever you set yourself to what you want to do something, you want to accomplish something, you want to be something. I'm here to tell you, DJ is telling you, Destiny is telling you, Mr. Stacy is telling you, your parents are telling you that you can do it. Whatever you put your mind to, you can do it, all right? Now, I want y'all to keep working, keep working on your game. When you're at home, anytime you got a basketball, do those things. Work on your shot fake, work on your pivot, work on your dribbling, layup, passing, whatever it is, just keep getting better, all right? I want to be able to come back. When I go off to school, I want to be able to come back and say, man, Mir got so much better. Man, Jackson got so much better. Man, Denver got so much better. Man, Jason got so much better. I want each and every one of you to continue to get better, all right? Now, I can't stress this enough that I'm proud of each and every one of you. If y'all, anytime y'all see me around, you want to get some work in, you want to, DJ, let's get some work. Can I work out with you? I, I would love to, I, look, listen, I love to train. I love to work out. This is my life. This is our life. This is what we do. So anytime you want to come out here and get better, let us know and we're all for it. All I got to say is I'm proud of y'all. Y'all did a great job. And like DJ said, don't let the work stop here. Good job, guys. Nope. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. We're going to bring it up. Um, what do you want to say? Hard work on three. All right. Hard work on three. Hard work on three. One, two, three. Right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Before we go, I need it one more time. I need it one more time. Loud and proud. All right. I need some no, energy that. in this. I don't want that. I want that. Y'all know what I want. Y'all know what I want. I need some energy. I need to be loud. I want everybody in the parking lot to hear us, all right? Give it two claps to the Rip Flow! <laughs> Woo! That's it, that's it! Good job, good job. Had your basketball camp, so like, how does that like motivate you? Like, what do you feel like um, your purpose is? Um, I mean, first off, man, the, the, the camp was great. It was a huge success. Um, I appreciate all the kids that came out, all the parents for the ones that didn't come and didn't make it. Um, you know, we're going a lot, a lot more planned uh, for the future, you know. And um, But the thing that motivates me is just um, just paving, paving the way for the younger generation. Um, I feel as if I view myself, I've always viewed myself as a leader, as a role model. And I know a lot of kids in, in the community look up to me. Um, so that, that keeps me going. You know, I know I have a village behind me. I know I have a community that's going to push me, that's going to support me. So, you know, I'm just breaking down barriers, knocking down no doors for the younger generation to just come farther than, and do more than what I did. Um, so that keeps me going. Every day I wake up and just say, hey, DJ, you know, you, you've had this plan A since day one. And, you know, like I said, so many obstacles and adversity has been thrown my way, but God has showed me that, you know, no matter what happens, I got you, you know, and, and you, he, I let him know what I want, you know, I, I literally pray about 
my dreams and goals every single day. So um, that, that just keeps me going, keeps me motivated to see that, you know, I, every time, no matter what's thrown at me, I come on top of it. And the fact that I have young, the younger generation that looks up to me and that views me, it, it keeps me going to stay on my P's and Q's to lead by example for them so that they, like I said, I don't even want them to do what I did. I want them to do more than me. I want to come back and say, hey, he's the one or, you know, he, he he's going to be the next DJ right, but even better. You know, I want them to accomplish so much more. So that just keeps me going to do everything that I put my mind to because I know once they see that I've done this, that, this, that, that they can do this, that, this, that. So, you know, that that itself just keeps me going. And, and for a little bit, I, I, I can't I can't slip up. I can't stop and I won't stop. Back at it, man. So now we at the stomping grounds with it. Green County High School, my gym. You know, we finna get that work in, you know, but this is where it all started kind of, man. At my high school, Green County, like I said, got my jersey retired, number three. Um, you know, I put up a lot of, lot of numbers, a lot of points, a lot of assists, everything up in this gym, man. So, you know, we finna get it in. Feel good to come back to my high school and put in that work. So let's get it. We in the lab, my gym, you know, my gym. Like I said, I got my jersey retired, number three. Um, my legs are just kind of kind of built, you know. Um, I put in a lot of hours, spent a lot of time in here. Like, whenever I come home, I try to get in here and get as much work, work as I can, man. But, you know, it's definitely special to me, though, considering that I got my jersey retired. You know, I played with such great players, and so many great people came through Greene County, like, we got names like Josh Nesbitt, Ronald Blair. Um, you know, the list the list can go on, man. Like, we had some great players come through. So, you know, I'm very thankful to be one of those that came through and, you know, left my mark um, on the high school, on the county, on the city, period. But the fact that I got my jersey retired, you know, it's kind of special, um, kind of surreal coming back, you know, to still see my jersey up and stuff like that and see kids still talking about it, man. That kind of what keep me going. but. Anytime I can get up at, I call this my home. I call this my home. I done spent so many early mornings and late nights in this gym. I got the Bo gear on today too, man. For those that don't know, I got an NIL endorsement deal with Bojangles. I got my own sandwich called the DJ sandwich, the sausage, bacon, and cheese biscuit. But shout out to the Bo, man. We got the, we repping the Bo today, man, for sure. Yep. Enjoy it, boy. Get out to him, get out to him. Get out to him. Yep. We working today. We back at the crib with it. I did live. I did live. They missed the lift. But y'all that don't think, hey, look, I'm in that weight room too. I'm in there. I'm in there. We ain't get no footage, but it's a lot going on that y'all don't see. No cap. They know we in there. And I got on that Verta match today. Yeah. Yeah. It's time for that. I think I'm finna start putting it on their head. So describe, um, I know he had an injury in high school and um, you know, had a lot of <laughs> offers and things like that. So describe describe that, how that went for you as parents. Uh, that injury happened in the 11th, 11th grade junior. His senior year. His. Um, the beginning of the senior year. Ah, beginning of the senior year. Yes. Uh, we had high expectations in going into the 12th grade and uh, we, we got numerous offers on the table, uh, but we haven't made a decision. We was going to wait until the end of uh, the senior year and see how it go and then make a decision on the college that he will attend. But God had a different plan. Uh, he tore in his ACL uh, during summer. Uh, basketball camp and it was uh, a tragedy in a sense uh, to the family and unto him I see the toll that it took upon him and he was home and feeling depressed uh, uh, feeling that he let the team down the coaches down with high expectations of the upcoming year um, and I told him 
After the surgery, I went in and spoke with them. I told them, I said, I need you to do two things. I need you to trust God and work hard. And he did that. And he came back after the surgery far and beyond expectation. And he came back with vengeance. And the story is history from that point on. Uh, there was a lot of um, uh, rehabilitation. Coach Levin, we, we, we thank him. Thank God he was in the high school system at, the, at that particular time. And he took a lot of time with our son and got him back to, to good health, good standing. And I thank God for it. What I remember most about it is that the night you got the news, um, hmm. looking in his eyes, it just did something to me. But I felt that we needed to show DJ some tough love. And so I went to him. I told him, I said, we got to be tough with this. And I went to him and I said, and he was like, Mama, why? Why me? Why me? And I said, why not you? Hmm. Why not you? Can others tear the ACL and have a setback and it can't happen to you? I said, so we just have to accept what God has done and just trust God in the process. All things are going to work out for you good. And um, so it was, it, was, it was an experience, but I think it was the best experience for him Amen. that he can, um, you know, he bounced back. And so I think going through all of that, he knows now that he can make it through anything. Amen. So take me through like your mindset of getting back to, to, you know, yourself. Uh, so kind of like what my dad had told me, he, I remember vividly, um, he came in the room and, and I was just crying. I was just crying. I didn't want to hear kind of what he had to say, what nobody had to say. I was just kind of just stuck in my, emo in my feelings, emotional. And, um, he told me, so I just want you to trust God and work hard. And I swear I took those words that from coming from my father and I just I ran with it. Um, attacking rehab and therapy from day one. I gave it all I had. I gave it all I could. The only thing I was focused on was just trusting God, letting God do his part and I'm gonna do my part. I know he's gonna take care of his. So my focus was just to come in therapy, give 110%, and by the grace of God I turned a seven to nine month injury to three months. I got the game. I got the game. Game on the line. Need one three. Need one three. Need one three. Get one, man. What we do? That's what I do. Uh, uh, 
Flat though. Shot boy. Just going twin, not twin. Bit. Shot boy. I got game. I got This is what I do. This is what I do. This is what I do. That's what I do, man. This is what I this is what I do. This is what I do. This my shit. This my gym. You better not miss. No. I hope not. I hope not. He gotta hit that one. I gotta dump for the dock. No hell. Yes, I do. Let's do it. Describe where you are now, like mentally. Um, you know, you you've had to go an alternative route. You mm -hmm. know, um, you didn't. You know, things didn't go the way you initially planned. So, describe like, you know, your mindset of like that adversity right there. Um, my mindset ever since then has literally been everything happens for a reason. Um, after that situation, away from the game, um, I, I learned to appreciate the game much more. Um, so just being out, I learned so much off the court by not being on the court. I was at practice every day. I was around my teammates every day. And I just learned how to become a leader, um, you know, or more, I was already a leader, but just it, it taught me so much more. So after that situation, now my mindset is just no matter what happens, no matter what God throws at me, let's do it. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm with it, you know. I mean, you know, I, I, I hope, you know, nothing else of that nature happens, but I mean, if he was to throw it my way, I'ma just trust him and I'ma work hard. So after that, I mean, I just feel as if no matter what is thrown at my way, I can overcome. I can always come out on top. And it's been like that since the day I was born. And that situation just really opened up my eyes and God just sat me down and said, look, I got you. You just be patient. You Like I said, you handle your part, you work hard, and you just put your trust in me. I feel as if I, I got the word in my hands. I can do whatever it is I want to do, and even if something happens, I'm gonna overcome it. They talking at Jay, we finna get busy. They 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 know what's going. Come on, man. I got a lay on the first. Don't oh I got one. I I got an easy one. Uh oh. I'm here. I'm there. By yourself. Left! Hey, help, 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 help. Good help, boy. Good help, Kenny. Let me. Yeah. Go, go, go. Good rebound, Jess. Good rebound, Jess. Way to play, Jess. Talk to me. Hey, right, right. Yo, I'm good, I'm good. Good D. Good D. Good D. That's big. You got it. When? When he won't hit five. I ain't got nothing to do with it. You got some crowns on your team, right? Nah. Yeah, I think so. Got some winners. Some winners? Who, Pete? Everybody. Anybody on my team gonna win. Work. Work. That's tough. Yeah, Jess. Come on, Jesse. Way to finish, Jesse. Way to play strong, Jesse. Oh, yeah. Stay. Good. Good pick up. Ain't it? Hey, Kenny. I'm staying. Pull it, pull it. Oh, 
Four, three. You good. Come on, Bert. Lay up. Good finish. Tough one. Good D, Kenny. Jesse. Good lay. Good lay. You good? You good, Jacob? Good. Finish. Good lay, boy. Six four. You know, we just we just want DJ to, to continue to do what he's doing. We knew from the beginning that he was something special because he was born right here in this house, in his room, and his dad delivered him. And so we knew that God had a, plan, a special plan for him. Well, now with that story, I. I, I, I did deliver my son here at home, and I, I was a doctor and didn't know it. Uh, but I had to do what I had to do, and that's, that's when, that, when everything started to unfold with the journey of DJ. Um, like I said, with the ACL injury and everything that took place in his life, he came back and bounced back within three months, whereas normal it would take eight months, nine months, tops, but God, but God, that's the only thing I can say is but God. So we always in the game. Amen. Exactly, exactly. So so uh, we got a special son and we're going to continue to uh, support him on his journey, his goal. Uh, and uh, we're going to continue to trust God. That's right. And thank God that he's able to come and give back to his community. Probably, you know, if it's not but one child that learns something from his life story. To God be the glory. Amen. To see him now uh, begin his senior year at Hampton Sydney, knowing that a kid that had D1 offers, D1 coaches looking at him, but they doubted him because of his injury, and now seeing him be as great as he's ever been playing basketball for Hampton Sydney, and not even Hampton Sydney, just for, for the people and family and the people in Green County. And, and no knock to the people that, that went to the next level of, of, of playing basketball, but DJ got an opportunity to be in, in that top percentile of people that go to college and finish uh, all for playing basketball. So for me, just seeing him work hard now, seeing how hard he worked throughout the past years and knowing how hard he's going to work for the future, man, I can only say that I'm proud of him. And I'm just glad to be a part of his journey because I've seen this kid work hard, hard, hard every time just to beat the odds. From people saying he was too short, he'll never be back to where he's going to be. And to, to be able to show that, nah, man, you can doubt me, but I'm still going to be great, is a great thing. So all I can tell him is keep showing that that work going to show. And I love you, DJ. We're going to keep being great. What is it that you, you know, want people to get out of, like, uh, watching, you know, just watching your story, what is it that you, like, what message are you trying to relay? Uh, overall message is just, you can do whatever you put your mind to. Um, there's no limitations on anything. I'm a, I'm living proof, you know, even coming from a small town, small area. Um, I've done so much. I'm going to continue to do a lot. Um, but whatever you put your mind to, you can do. Um, no matter where you're from, no matter who your parents are, your history, none of that matters. As long as you put your mind to something, you work hard, you give it all you got, everything gonna follow through. So I just want, by watching this video, to show that, man, the sky's the limit. Um, I'm living proof, like I said, for my people, for the younger generation from Greensboro, and just everywhere, honestly. There's no limitations on people from Green County, just anywhere. You put your mind to, you can do it. There we go, there we go. I just needed one. Eight, six. My ball. Let's get some stops. Let's get some stops. My ball. Talk to me. Back, back. Stay. We good. Stay. Good. Good D. You good. You good. Give me that shit. Damn, I had the ball. He's scared. He's scared. He's scared. 
He's scared. Get that man off me. Get him off me. Coming off. It's gonna be a party. It's gonna be a. Turn up. Come on. At 12. Good D. By yourself. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Good. Let's go. He is. He is. Hey. Man, I'm dangerous, bro. 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 Yeah, the shot's too late. Let's go, 14, game point. That's a part of basketball, DP. Steph Curry call screen. LeBron call screen. KD call screen. Michael Jordan call screen. Kevin Durant call screen. Kobe call screen. LeBron call screen. It's a different. That's a part of basketball. I missed that. You didn't do that. You didn't do that for me to miss that shot. You didn't do that for me to miss that shot though. I'm just saying you didn't do that. You didn't do nothing to make me miss. You didn't do nothing to make me miss. You didn't do nothing to make me miss. I got the shot I want. I just missed. Work. Let him work. That's a mismatch. He can't guard. Move, Jesse. Move, Jesse. That's a baby. That's a baby on him. That's a baby. And you reaching? Don't reach. Don't reach. Good. Good. Hey, Ken. Come on. KJ the mismatch. Move. This is what I want. They foul! It won! That's game! It's a baby, man! Fucking baby! It's a, that's a baby. That's, a, that's smart basketball. That's IQ! That's IQ! I want the weakest link and I'm gonna give him a bucket! That's IQ! That's IQ! That's IQ! That's IQ. That's IQ. That's IQ. Why make the game hard? Why make the game hard? Move, Jesse! Move, Jesse! Why make the game hard, Postman? Man, let's go on him. Game it. We're gonna play high IQ basketball. We're gonna play high IQ basketball. High IQ ba game. That's a baby. That's a baby. That's a baby. Come on, man. They know where it's going. Come on. I'm in the corner. One more. Shot. Burn it. Good rebound. Good rebound. Go up. Shot. Good ball. Finish! Good rebound, boy. Two. Two up, two up. Yeah, where you at? Go, yeah. Stay. Two up, two up, two up. Two up. By yourself. By yourself. Right. Good. By yourself. By yourself. Come here, man. Come here. Oh, that's me, man. It don't matter. Come here, Jay. Oh, go! Run! Finish, finish, finish! That me. Man, I know what's going on with me, Pete. You ain't got to say, man. I know what's going on with me. Good. Good finish. Four two. Hey, keep battling. Keep battling on the board. My God, who is DP? Who is DP? Who is DP? Four up. Four up. Oh Let's move. Oh. 
Let me. Let me. Shot, boy. Shot, Kenny. Six up. Six up. Six up. Six up. Hey! By yourself. By yourself. Let me hand down. Let me. My hand down. Let me. Say, go run. Good. Six. Oh, we're good, we're good, we're good. I see him. I see him. Come on. That's tough three. That's tough three. That's tough three. Oh. Good pass. Oh my God. Good battle. I love it, Jesse! I love it! Nine up. Oh! KJ struggling. So. Ten nine. Come on, come on, come into it, come into it, roll. My God. Oh my God, I gotta make that one. Gotta make that one. You ain't do nothing. You ain't do nothing to make me miss. You ain't do nothing to make me miss. Make me miss. That's nothing. Make me miss. Make me miss. Make me miss. Dang, dang. Good shot. What's next? What's next for you? Um, well, what's next? Big senior season ahead at Hampton Sydney College. Um, I feel as if this the one. Um, we got a we got a great team coming back. We bring back everybody. Um, we we shocked a lot of people last year. Put a lot of people on notice, and we had a, a successful year. Went to the NCAA tournament second round and end up losing to the national champion. So, um, but I just feel as if I'm I'm ready. I feel as if I'm ready. I'm going up. I have this senior year coming up. Um, I'm expecting big things. High expectations. Um, hopefully get a ring, get my diploma, and then I actually have a, another year of eligibility um, where I'm looking to transfer and, you know, try to get close to home and try to find another home and the way I can, you know, rock out my last year. And then after that, it's the pros. I'm trying to get a, across that water um, overseas and sign a professional contract. But I, since day one, the plan has always been to be a professional basketball player, and I won't stop till I get there. But when I go get a bucket, I don't see nobody. I see a cone. 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 I don't see defenders. I see cones. I see cones. I don't see defenders. I see cones. I see cones. Hey, ho, ho, ho. This the last one? 15? Right. Wait, wait. That boy can't shoot. Come on, come on, come on. Throw it up, throw it up. Just throw it up. Good finish. One. One up. Go get it. Want me to go? Wait. Good pass. Burn it, Jay. Good rebound. One more. Good pass, Pete. Good pass. Oh. Left. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good D. I'm behind you. One more. And one. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Good pass, boy. I'm good. I don't want no foul. Pete was away. Good, Kenny. By yourself, Kenny. Get up. Oh, P, I thought you were going to get up. 
Oh, that's me. Somebody gotta get that. That's me. Two yo. You hit. Split, man. Did he? 3-4, 3-4. Oh, I fade, that's me. I fade, I fade it. Lay up. One more, one more. And one. Hey, tight. Step up, step up, step up. Hey, I'm gonna fire you now. I'm gonna just wrap you up. Nah, bro, she fight easy one, bro. 10 8. Go. Man, be. That's you. Cause you doing all like this. I know, but you. You throw it out like that. He's right there. He's literally wide open. It ain't about you, Pete. You gotta know your personnel. You know Jess ain't gonna catch nothing like that. What? I ain't wanna foul. Yeah, that me. I ain't wanna foul here. If she had that corner, I'ma let her go. I ain't gonna foul her. She finna go to school. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god. Finish! I'm here. I don't care how you get him. Say. KJ with us! KJ with us! KJ with us! He ain't gonna make too many. I swear, it ain't about to call with me. It just gonna be, it just gonna be. I get the ball in game, and then I'm gonna be me. I'm gonna be pissed off. What? That ball? Nah, I ain't got one. That's a wrap, man. It's DJ right here, man. Against all odds, episode one. Thank y'all for tuning in. There's so much more on the way. So just be patient, just hold on. Shout out to Jade, man. Unreported by Jade, the best in the game. You know, three signing out. Shout out to the Bo fam. Um, and if you out here watching it, just keep working, man. Just keep getting better. Three out. Boom.